Hello guys, today I want to talk about UUIDs in Laravel and specifically about relationships between the tables with foreign UUIDs and also will measure the performance. What is the difference if you create UUID as a primary key and I have a set of tables around that and then another way is better users with ID as a auto increment regular primary key and UUID as a secondary field which you would use only in route model binding. I will try to prove the theory that UUID is actually slower if you especially use them with relationships. So I have, as I said, a set of tables, alpha users with UUID, then alpha rows with UUID, and then pivot table between those two. Then I have posts by user with also foreign UUID here and comments with also foreign UUID. In the code in migrations, it looks something like this. So primary UUID alpha users, then alpha rows is the same, then pivot table is foreign UUID with constraint to the column UUID, and similarly alpha posts with UUID and foreign UUID to alpha user, and comments with another foreign UUID. In the model, I have a trait use has UUIDs, which is a pretty recent feature in Laravel 9. So it automatically fills UUID primary key. If you don't know how that works, I have a separate video on that. I will link that in the description below. And if you don't know in general how UUID works and why you would use that, I have a separate premium article on my Laravel daily, all you need to know about UUIDs. But getting back to the topic, so with this structure, what I wanted to test is the behavior of launching main model with a few relationships and measuring that. So I have a user controller and I have separately alpha user controller and beta user controller. So the query is this, the eloquent query, user with rows, many to many, and with count of posts and comments. The result visually is this table. So how performant is this table with UUIDs as primary keys versus, as I've briefly shown already, better users with UUIDs as a separate field. So here we have primary keys and then the pivot table is between the integers posts have a foreign key again to the integer user ID and comments have better user ID as a foreign key. An almost identical query in better user controller, better user with roles with count. What do you think? Is it faster and by how much? I have quite a small set of data to be honest, but even that would show something. So 100 users with three roles randomly assigned one or two role in a pivot table and then we have 700 posts, so randomly seven posts per user and then 5,000 comments, which means around 50 comments per user. And the result of that, if we open Laravel debug bar, it's this. So 81 milliseconds, but that's not the point. What we're looking at here is this. So we have two eloquent queries. So first is alpha users with count for those with count of posts and comments. So this is one query. And then the second query is about this eager loading with roles where we select roles where user IDs are among these strings in a long array like that. So that query takes 10 milliseconds the first query and three milliseconds the second query. What about beta users? we have three milliseconds and one millisecond. Identical queries also select better users with count and also select better roles, but with integers as users. If we click again, we have seven and five. For better, we have three and one. Again, six and one and three and one. So as you can see, the better version is faster, but with us clicking around, it may be different in terms of caching. A bit better way to benchmark that is to use a specific pretty recent also feature in Laravel called benchmark. And I have a separate video around that. I'll also link that in the description below. So in one of the controllers, instead of users, let's do this benchmark from Illuminate support DD. And then as a parameter, we have array of functions to measure. So we will just run one function, callback function of alpha user, this query, just copy and paste, and then comma, another callback function of beta users. Let's make a space here. So let's copy from beta user controller, this query to here. And let's add beta users to PHP storm. So it looks like this. And also as a second parameter of benchmark is how many times to launch to have an average. Let's launch it five times five iterations. And now if we reload our controller for alpha users, 
it will show the results. The first took 25 milliseconds, the second 12 milliseconds. I will zoom it in so you would see more clearly. Let's refresh that again. 2113, 2412, 2513, 2111. So the results are pretty clear. So the second options with UUIDs as non-primary keys is twice as fast. What do you think about this experiment or mini research or case study or whatever you call that? Can we draw the conclusion that you shouldn't use your UIDs as primary keys for performance reasons? Or maybe you would improve something in that structure that I've shown earlier to have a middle ground between UUIDs and performance. Maybe I've missed something, then help me to make this video better by commenting below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.